Neville tells us, occupy the energy of the end. What does that mean? The end is what you want. My goal. And my goal is to, what is your goal? You fill in the blanks. Neville and, and many teachers and Christ would say, to he that believeth that all things are possible, well, all things are possible. So you have to have time occupying the energy of what it is you want. The more you do that, the quicker it comes. How do you do that? Yo, catch, I'm teaching you guys tonight. Well, when you go to bed every night, before you fall, to, fall asleep, you're still awake but you're really drowsy. This is a trance state. It's called the hypnopompic or the hypnagogic. I get them mixed up. It's a trance state though. You're not entirely asleep, but you're not entirely awake. In that state, you are highly psychic. You are also impressing upon the subconscious your will if you use it correctly. Most people just get drowsy and they start seeing things and then they fall asleep. Smart people, who want to work with their intuition, smart people who want to start changing their life, use that container of time in a trance-like state right before they fall asleep to create what they want because they're impressing upon the subconscious their will. Subconscious animates our reality. I know I'm getting too technical. Read Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard. Right now, everybody, Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard. In this container of time, which we all experience every night before we go to sleep, Think about what you truly want as if you were in it. It has to have the tones of reality. It has to feel real in order for that impression to be made on the subconscious. And when you hook into it, when you're seeing yourself sitting in your own space and it's arranged the way you want it and the plants are where you want it and the animals are where you want it and the people are who you want them to be and you're free and it feels, you can feel the tones of that reality, you've got it. Stay there as long as possible, fall asleep within that. Within that, fall asleep. If you can fall asleep feeling the tones of reality of that, you manifest it very, very quickly, very quickly. That is one of the most powerful tools that any of us can learn. We should all be doing that every single night because it is the subconscious that animates, creates our reality. What you experience today is what you created last night in your sleep. Really what you created two nights ago, three nights ago. You experience it today. Well, you can change what you experience today by taking that opportunity to envision it and feel it, tones of reality, tones of reality. Also Neville Goddard taught us this wonderful maintenance energetic modality, which is called the pruning shears of revision. Karen, listen up. Everybody else, this is fire. Listen, okay? Essentially what it is, in that container of trance-like state, drowsy, before you fall asleep, which is a magical creative time. It's the time that you need to be working in. Start pruning everything that happened that day. I go to bed tonight, and I start revisiting the things that I did today. Oh, I went to Starbucks. Then I went to Home Depot and I saw this and I did this. And then I had this interaction with this person and it really didn't go the way I wanted it to go. And you know, when I was at Starbucks, I could have been a lot kinder. I, couldn't, I could have been a, a lot more loving. You just start looking at every experience from that tranced out space and anything that's not in alignment with what you want to create for your life, prune it, change it. Maybe you had an argument with your narcissistic ex. In that container of hypnagogia, prune it, reimagine it. You didn't argue. Instead, you had a conversation where this person understood you, and this person felt you, and this person loved you, and this person was speaking life into you, and this person was being helpful to you. Reimagine it. Pruning shears of revision. Do this every single night, and you change the course of your entire life going forward. This is how you ensure that the next day that you live is in alignment with what you want to create for yourself.